So uh, today we'll be checking out the Shopify mobile app and uh, we'll be showing you how the admin uh, having the Shopify SaaS based store can set up the mobile app and how he can set up the builder components from the uh, backend panel as you can see right now. So uh, the admin can set up the page builder and the mobile draw as well. And uh, we'll show you how the admin can do that and how the changes are then reflected on the uh, Shopify mobile app on the Android devices. It also works on the iOS devices as well. So as you already know that the Shopify mobile app by Webcool is a native mobile application and it synchronizes the, uh, the data on the mobile as well as on the uh, uh, website there. So there's no, uh, no lag within the uh, data that is being synchronized or the same. So uh, first of all, we'll be going to the page builder wherein we'll be uh, checking out the different uh, uh, options or the com builder components that we have. So this is a drag and drop uh, component on the right hand side here. You can see that I'm on the page builder and from here we can set up these uh, sections on the home page there. And here from here we can choose the carousal, the slider, uh, be the banner, title, uh, the grid, the list, uh, and the product slider you just need to tap and then drop anywhere where you want to have that particular thing on your mobile end now before we proceed further please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do give it a thumbs up now the very first thing to do uh, after the admin has logged into his uh, sauce space store he needs to navigate to the product section and here he'll be choosing the what we say as uh, i'll just show you that so now whichever products you want to have uh, within your other sales channel like the mobile mobile app that we have so under the sales channel you can see that we have the online store and the mobile mobile app so uh, if you want to have all the products just select them up from the more actions choose add available channels initially this would be not checked there so now you can make these 50 products that you have just selected to be available for use within your Mobicool mobile app for the Shopify itself and then just tap here on the make products available. Now these products would be available. One more thing is there that even if you have not made that up, I'll just show you how we can do using the uh, uh, online store as well how we can search for the product that uh, is not there. Now uh, that was about the products, the initial configuration. Now the admin needs to navigate to the Mobicool uh, mobile app section here and here under the uh, page builder uh, we have the different components that we can choose on the right hand side we have the component settings now according to the builder components that we have chosen we can set up the component settings from the right hand side so we can add the products to them categories uh, we can set up the uh, our builder component title as well and we can set up the mobile mobile draw as well now one more thing is there that you'll be thinking that if i I as admin for my sauce based uh, Shopify store, how can I uh, actually view the changes that I've made within this particular section in the admin backend panel for my mobile application. So that's really easy, you just need to navigate to the mobile app tab here and scroll down. So if you have an Android or an iOS device, uh, after you've made the changes in the backend there, you'll have to install this particular uh, uh, demo app on your device. So today I'll be just showing you the Android the one. So here you'll scan this particular code and before the installation you'll have to enter this particular code or the unique ID to check the uh, changes being reflected within the mobile app as well. Now coming to the page builder, let's see how we can drag and drop the different uh, builder components. So for example, uh, if I choose carousel, I can take it up, I can drop it down. So if I scroll down now, to the end of uh, the mobile home screen just give me a second for that so here you can see that i've dropped this particular carousel and i've just tapped on that and now we can set up the component settings so on the right hand side you can see that uh, it's a carousel basically that we have dropped on for the home page of our uh, shopify mobile app so from here uh, we can set up the uh, carousel title uh, i can set it as new best arrivals I'll choose to show the title like here you can see that we have shop by category so for this carousel we'll have the title uh, as new best arrival now within this uh, particular carousel we can add the items by tapping here in the add item button we can tap here in the products and uh, or uh, 
you'll have the complete list of the products that have been enabled for this uh, sales channel. You can tap here in the category as well if you want to add the multiple categories within this particular carousal. So you'll have to just choose them up and tap here on the add button and the categories would be uh, added to the carousal itself. Otherwise, if you want, you can add the products as well. Now, for example, if you don't find any product here, you can search the uh, product as well by tapping here and then tap tapping here on the select product from Shopify store. So this can be used in case if you have not uh, gone to the product section and you have not uh, chosen the uh, product uh, sale channel there. So for example, I'll go for this Aeon Capri, okay, and I'll just tap here on the add button. Okay, now let's cancel this out. You can see that one item is there within this particular carousel that we've just created. So let me tap here, let me tap here, and uh, let me cancel this out. And products, let me fine tune that. All right, we'll go for the Bolo Sports Watch for this carousel. So we've edited, added that up on the right hand side, as you can see. Let me set it as new big arrivals. VALS and I'll choose to show the title for this uh, carousel uh, here is the item we can add multiple items as well let me uh, go ahead and we can choose multiple as I told you you can also edit any of them and uh, thereafter what you need to do is you need to tap here first on the save button the card has been successfully added as we know so now you can see that uh, new big arrivals is the heading this is the product that we had added now to check this particular change within the mobile application you will have to save here on the builder components now before proceeding there let me show you uh, the other ones as well so here you can drop a carousel we have a slider banner uh, we have a grid option we have a list and then we also have a product slider as well so it depends upon what you want to drag and drop or this particular home uh, page of for your mobile application uh, add your products or categories as required and then save that particular component settings come back to the builder components and tap here in the save button now this would be then reflected over the mobile application now let's tap here in the save button so the home configuration has been saved successfully now let me show you how you can uh, uh, basically install the demo and check this uh, particular change that we have created here so uh, but before going to that uh, let me go to the mobile uh, draw here so this is the side panel uh, or the three uh, horizontal li lines that we all uh, always see where we have the different categories so uh, you can set up your mobile draw menu from here and you can add the main one you can add more uh, child uh, links to that as well so uh, for example if i tap here on the add menu item uh, i'll set it as uh, uh, for example western and uh, i'll tap here in the add button so this uh, would be added here now we can edit or delete it if i want to add uh, something below that i can go here tap on the edit i can set it as uh, united kingdom for example or we can basically choose a uh, category for that or we can also set a link for that as required for a category just tap your category and tap here in the select category so we'll just choose the echo collection new add and add all right so on the western now we have a category named uh, united kingdom uh, within which we have added one uh, category now let's save this one that's the mobile draw now let's go to the page builder here we have added one carousel with the new big arrivals and uh, now let's go to the mobile app let's download the app for the ios so i'll ios or the android so i'll be doing it with the uh, uh, android one and now let me take you to the mobile end to show you how these uh, changes reflect on the mobile application itself so uh, you can see that i've opened my uh, browser on my uh, android device and uh, i'll be scanning the qr code uh, that i already showed you a moment ago so I've just opened the same and I'll be scanning the barcode uh, for the demo app itself here. You can make use of any of the QR code videos that you have. Now you can see that we need to download the file on our system. So uh, I'll just be tapping on the download button. And as soon as the download completes, uh, we'll be installing the app itself on our Android device. You can do the same for the iOS one. For the iOS, you'll have to scan the iOS uh, QR code there. And then uh, 
using your Android, uh, using your iOS device or your uh, Apple device there. And uh, the same procedure is to be followed uh, on both. Now we'll be installing after the download has completed. And you can see this particular icon has been added. Now let me open the app itself. And now we'll have to enter the unique app ID that uh, was there on the demo section there. After entering that, just tap here in the submit button and we'll be able to see our particular uh, mobile application as you can see right now. So at the top, you can see that we have the Bolo Sports Watch that we did it. And uh, on the side end panel, you can see that we have the United Kingdom uh, side uh, menu uh, that, uh, that we had edited. And then tapping that up brings the Echo Collection new. So we had assigned uh, what we say as a, a, a category there uh, to that particular uh, uh, what we say as the category there on the left hand side. So that's how the uh, changes are being reflected automatically. So if I would have edited the products within that particular side uh, uh, category that we had created, then we would be able to see the same. Now on the home page, you can see the Bolo Sports Watch. I had put that up. And similarly, you can drag and drop different options like the grids, uh, the product list, uh, banners, sliders, and you can set the name as well as per your own requirement there. And uh, after that, you'll have to save it from the back end and then just open your uh, mobile application for the Shopify itself by Mobicool and you'll be able to see the um, changes made in the back end for the home page being displayed on the mobile end as well uh, as soon as you open that up uh, there. Now, uh, this was how we can basically uh, make the configurations there and check the same on the mobile end. So uh, that was much uh, for the uh, configuration part today and I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements, then you can anytime get back to us at support at datawebcool.com. And uh, lastly, thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.